You are at a severe disadvantage if you feel like you are not unique. Hey, what is up? Kate the Great here. Welcome back to my channel. It's really nice to have you here. It really is. Today we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the whole how to create your perfect ideal path for your health and fitness journey. If you didn't watch last week's video, I'll pop it up here. Make sure you watch that one first because I dive into all of the elements of how to create your perfect path. It's a very broad chit chat except now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into each element that I talked about in the last one. And today is all about nutrition. I recently became a certified nutritional coach. I passed that one. I'm officially a nutrition coach, which is very exciting. So now I'm able to work one-on-one -on -one with people to help establish habits and accountability for them to incorporate and stay consistent with the nutritional side of the spectrum. Because like I mentioned in the last video, everything cohesively works together and you have to basically tackle all of the elements in order to achieve what you truly want to get lifelong results. Before we dive into it, I want to make it perfectly clear that these tips or everything that we talk about is simple and I don't want anyone, myself, to think that simple equals easy because nothing about achieving lifelong results is easy. Changing habits, routines, sticking with things, staying on track, nothing is easy and trust me I know that but with that being said everything is achievable you can do and achieve anything that you want so do not give up on yourself a few of the things I want to mention before we dive into the actual tips don't forget that everything is related to the mind think about it every decision that you make no matter what no matter what category we're talking about movement nutrition habits, mental health, obviously. Everything has to be a choice that you make with your own mind. So it's all about getting that right and making decisions that will work best for you. It'll be a lot of positive self-talk, making sure you are not too hard on yourself, reminding yourself of the bigger picture things, the bigger picture goals that you want. And specifically talking about nutrition, this is a very, very challenging thing. Talking about and establishing habits and just getting down your fuel and nutrition is an extremely challenging thing to do. So do not take this lightly. It's personally, for me, one of the tougher elements in the whole spectrum. Like for me, exercising is no big deal, except with the nutrition, this has always been something that I have struggled with. It's about creating healthy relationships with food. All right, let's jump into it. I got my handy dandy iPad here again. Of course, any excuse to use it. So I just wanted to pop into this and remind you of the diagram that I, we, I guess, made last video. So this is the diagram. Obviously, we have the movement, nutrition, fuel, slash fuel, mental health, habits and routine, and supplemental elements. I know I already just like, I already started that one first. But other things, patience, time, effort, accountability, and consistency let's not forget about these but we're gonna make a new page and we're gonna dive into nutrition so ah oh my goodness okay so we're gonna make a new page copy this page and we'll paste page perfect all right Let's get, apparently I'm still a newbie at this whole iPad thing. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so fuel and nutrition. So, apparently I cannot multitask. Fuel and nutrition. Let's dive into the tips. Number one, it is a necessity to individualize every single thing to you, 
you are at a severe disadvantage if you feel like you are not unique because of course you're unique everyone is unique everyone is different so individualize <laughs> every time I write I feel like I can't talk at the same time oh my gosh like I said in the last video we're just gonna skip over the whole like spelling thing um, okay individualize fueling your body needs to be completely catered to you and how you do things nothing in regards to nutrition or even exercise, everything will be different for every single person and you have to remember that. So if you see other people post videos or even me on Instagram, I will post things like what I eat in a day, but what I eat in a day. But it doesn't mean that it's what you should eat in a day because you and I are different, of course. So it's hard to not take and see things and directly push them onto yourself do not forget, you are completely different than whatever you are watching. And what they eat in a day, what I eat in a day, is completely different than what you should or what you can or what you want to eat in a day. And it is tough to not feel pressured that when you see something or you see something that's trending or things that are just going viral and the way you should eat or fad crash diets, those do not work and it's tough and usually people don't realize that until the other side of it, but I promise that those will not work and again the whole point of all of this is just to talk about life long results, sustainability. But it's okay to take inspiration or ideas, that's why I do it, just to give ideas or just show how things can be easy, simple, nutritious. Obviously I love simple and I love easy because I'm lazy when it comes to cooking. But it doesn't mean that you have to take a complete replica of everything that you see. You can pull bits and pieces into making something that will work for you. This tip also crosses over into the exercise realm, but we'll get into that in a, a later video when we dive into the movement part, but everything will be catered to everyone. Exercise, nutrition, honestly everything that I'm going to talk about is catered to everyone, so I'm just going to remind you throughout the whole, all of the videos, but just keep that in mind. Tip number two, everything starts with the mindset. Like I was mentioning earlier, everything you do obviously is a choice that comes from your brain. It is fueled by something. Whatever you want, whatever you're craving, desiring, trying to decide of what to eat, all comes down to the mind, which is obviously a basic and simple thing to say and an obvious thing to say. Obviously, you're making decisions with your brain, but it's all about learning to control and really deep diving into your mindset and allowing yourself to make good choices. And good meaning whatever's good for you, back to that individualized thing. It's tough, but you have to learn to ditch the all or nothing mindset. That's something that I personally struggle with a lot. Like if I eat a food that maybe is like super high in sugar or I fall off the track a little bit, I'm like, oh, what's the use? I might as well just completely fall off. And then I'm rolling into a different train and I'm all over the place. But it doesn't have to be like that. You can eat things that you want and not completely fall off track. It's just about reminding yourself that it's okay. You can eat whatever you want. And again, whatever you want means whatever you want that works best for you. And it's up to you to figure it out or working with someone. I try to stay away from good foods versus bad foods. Everything is okay. Fuel is fuel. Of course, with saying that, there are foods that are of better quality. There's different ways to personalize foods to your goals, and a big thing is quality of food. Obviously, the better the quality, the more ideal it is for you, just speaking as like a basic human thing. For example, eating something processed versus unprocessed. The unprocessed is obviously a little bit higher on the spectrum of better quality foods. And, and again, this just goes back to what I was just saying about, it's about the mindset. So if you do eat processed foods, that's okay. <laughs> It's about reminding yourself that it is okay, 
remembering why you chose it in the first place or even just making a decision of why am I eating this because I want to <laughs> that could be a perfectly good explanation as to why you're eating it just because you want to enjoy a food like that it's just learning to tell yourself that it's okay and it's okay to enjoy whatever food you want to enjoy and then just not dwelling on it and moving through the process. Another thing with the mindset is try to eliminate as much of a non-ideal influence on yourself as possible. So setting yourself up for success, letting people know around you like, hey, I don't want to be asked to maybe eat these foods that I'm trying not to eat as often. A treat here and there is fine, but just letting people know and setting yourself up in the environments that will work best for you will make a huge difference. The influence is everything. And I personally understand that one. That one's a huge thing for me. Next is prep, preparation, <laughs> and availability. <laughs> Something I always tell people, if they're trying to eat a specific food, again, whatever it is for them, not having it there, you won't eat it. If you think about it, if you don't buy it, if you don't want it, you don't buy it, and then you won't eat it. And again, that goes again, back to the whole self-control thing, but it's just a simple concept. If it's not there, you won't eat it. Try to prep and have more things available that align with your goals so that if you want something, it's there for you and it's easy and you don't have to think about it too much because it's right there in front of you. Shopping is a huge thing. We, I feel like so many people have heard, don't go grocery shopping when you're super hungry. Stuff like that. General guidelines along the whole shopping, prepping, making a list ahead of time, sticking to the perimeter, of the stores which will have higher quality foods going back to the other tip all of that prep will set you up for success in the bigger picture because you're able to walk out of the store with things that you want that will be convenient and available at home or wherever when you want them now I mentioned these in the other video but we're just gonna narrow them down a little bit more to the nutrition it's accountability and consistency ah. <laughs> oops Okay, accountability and consistency. These kind of do intertwine, which is why I put them together, but it's all about creating consistency with habits, and we'll dive into that in the habits and routine section, but also creating and establishing accountability for yourself. And again, I talked about that in the last video, if you watched that one that went up last week. It's all about just setting yourself up to basically have someone or pulling yourself back to where you want to be, someone reminding you what your goals are, someone guiding you, and it could just be something as you establish it yourself, you tell someone like, hey, I want to do this, I want to make sure I'm eating foods like this that will align with this goal that I have. And then someone around you, whether it is a friend, a loved one, a professional like me, like when I do the nutrition one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's about establishing accountability and habits and figuring out what works best for people. So I figure out what works best for someone through trial and error, figuring out everything across the board and I do dive into other habits not just nutritional but the nutrition coaching is that and then coming together each week and just checking in being like hey how did it go with this how did it go with this and then someone can come back and be like hey Kate you know that's not really working for me I feel like I'm influenced or I'm having trouble at the grocery store or whatever and then you talk about it and then you figure it out a new plan of action or just tweaking the regular plan that you have established thus far. Having someone to help guide you and give you all the tools for success is a huge thing. It's very underrated. So make sure if you're finding that accountability and establishing habits and consistency and sticking with it and needing someone to help you is something that works 
for you and maybe you don't realize that it is until you're in it and you're like wow this is the greatest thing I could have ever done make sure to click the link in the description to work with me and just to do a free trial session to see if I'm the coach that could work with you and the nutritional coaching that I do that I'll do with you will help with establishing everything chit chatting about everything and just making sure you're setting yourself up well and i will be there right alongside you the entire time moving on into the last one this again pretty general if you haven't caught on to that theme yet it is all about can i talk and write at the same time with this one the bigger picture and whatever you're thinking this means, this is what it means. It's all about the bigger picture. It's so easy to get caught up in the little things like, Oh, I ate this thing that I really didn't want to eat, and I let myself down, I failed, and I'm not going to be able to get my results, and it's just a disaster. So I might as well just not even try at all. Or I'll fall off that all or nothing thing I was talking about earlier. That is such a common thing, and I myself have also been there, and sometimes I'm still there. It is a very hard thing to look at the bigger picture, but it's all about telling yourself what you truly want and it's hard in the moment to be able to enjoy sometimes foods that aren't as great for you so let me give you an example for me eating things that are very high in sugar is not along the lines of my goals so one of my goals is to help relieve a lot of the pain in my body with my joints and my hypermobility syndrome so i want to make sure that i'm not eating sugar as much and another huge thing for me which i don't know if i talked about that much on my channel is sugar also affects my mental health so much it just spikes my anxiety and my ocd right up so i try really hard not to have that much sugar so i'm talking like ice cream or anything things that are just pumped with sugar so if I have ice cream, it's so hard for me to not beat myself up about it because I know I'm gonna have pain the next day. So in those moments, it's okay to enjoy treats here and there, but once I start having ice cream every day, it doesn't align with my goals. And I have to remind myself that in the moment, the temporary enjoyment consistently of things that don't align with my goals is not adhering to the bigger picture. There's things that I want that I want really bad. And you, and you can want things so badly, except it's so hard to make those decisions. And it's just about reminding myself. And it, again, goes back to the whole mindset. It's all about your mind. It's telling yourself like, hey, I can have this treat and enjoy it, but tomorrow I don't need a treat. I can do something else to fulfill my time. Usually with me, it is a boredom thing and it's usually a satisfaction in the moment. And it's just about finding what it is for you and figuring it out. Like what I said when I work with my clients, it's being like, hey, what do you feel like you're getting from this? Why do you feel like you're keep going back to having that one food that you're telling me that you don't want? So it's just about reminding yourself what you truly want. And again, nutrition and fuel is such a tough topic, but moving forward, let me know if you're interested in more nutritional tips. I can zone in a little bit more on very specific nutritional tips if you'd like. So if you want, comment down below more nutrition tips and I will make sure to make future videos about that. Okay, okay, final thoughts if I didn't ramble on enough, but things to remember moving forward. Do not be so hard on yourself and you will get to where you want to get to. I can promise you that. But in the same breath, it's not going to be easy, and I will tell you that, and people, again, like I said in my last video, people are like, yeah, it was super easy, I did this, I did it so quick. Quick is another thing. Quick, quick, quick. No, 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 no. You're not going to get lifelong results with quick fix 
this, I can assure you. And you know, I'm gonna tell you as many times as you need to hear it until it sticks. Don't forget that everything that you eat, everything you're consuming is controlling how your body functions. What I was saying back to the sugar thing earlier with the example about myself, everything that you're consuming will affect how your body is run, which is why I like to use the word fuel when we talk about nutrition. You're literally fueling your body to function throughout the day and night. And of course with exercise, once you add in that exercise element, you will need fuel to fuel the workouts. So it's in your best interest to really zone in on the nutritional aspect of the whole path. Everything will take time and patience. Everything will be trial and error, making sure you find what works for you. Seek professional help if you need to in any realm in regards to nutrition, even mindset, even if it's just for accountability and weekly check-ins like what I do, accountability is everything and it will help you stay consistent. I can promise you that. Or even just telling someone next to you, telling a loved one or someone that you live with or a friend or anyone, tell them what's up, tell them what you want, and then hopefully they will act as accountability for you. And everything that I'm gonna talk about We'll dive in to the habits and routines section of the bigger picture so stay tuned for when I talk about that one each video will have the specific category but everything that I talk about like fuel nutrition exercise everything mindset will come down to habits and routines and establishing those to set yourself up for success Okay, I think I rambled on enough. Thank you so much if you made it this far into the video. If you did make it this far, make sure to drop this emoji down below so I know that you made it and that you absorbed at least some of the tips that I gave to you. Make sure to subscribe down below and ring the bell if you'd like to stay notified for when the next videos come out. But stay tuned for next week where I dive into, again, each category week by week and of course i hope you have a great day and i will see you next time bye <laughs> <coughs> and the nutritional cal blah, blah, blah. video no i won't say that yet i'll say that in the end one no 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 <sighs>